So welcome back to Blazing Gamer and its Python plus node series. So in this video, we'll be creating the utility functions uh, that will help us send data to and fro from Python and node. In the last video, we configured the Python shell and it was being start started as we wanted. So to create the utility functions, I'll just the first thing we will need is uh, the function to send data to the Python shell. So you can call this function anything you want. So I will just call it process. So we need to process the data and we'll call it any. Okay. And the thing we need to do is this dot shell dot send. Uh, since we had uh, the mode that we had configured for the Python shell was JSON. Uh, the Python shell module will automatically serialize everything uh, for uh, like they it will handle the json dot stringify and send it so that is something good so we can just directly give it the data object and the send method will send on the input stream of the shell so on the python side we will create a separate script in which we will have some other utility functions to interact with node so we'll just create a node dot py okay so i'll just open the node dot py hello so there are a few things that we need we would need here we will need an import sys and import import json so since the data will be coming as json we'll need to parse it so the first thing we will define as a new function to receive data so we'll just call it receive okay and so incoming so this will be a string that will we will get from the input function so we'll basically read the standard input stream and get the string and we'll just return json dot loads incoming so this will just pass the json string and return a python dictionary so it's just good to have this utility function so that you will not need to write these two lines again and again so the next thing we'll do is create the function to emit data so to do that we'll just take and the def and call it emit so we'll take some data variable okay so most probably this will be a dictionary also again all we need to do is print it and json dot dumps data so what this will do is, is take the python dictionary and print it as a json string and this will be passed by the python shell module in the node server side okay now that is done another thing as i had said earlier we'll override the log function so that we will be able to pass uh, the log messages to the standard error stream so the thing we will give it the args and uh, double pointer k okay. so this is something even i don't know why it's done like this in python myself i don't have much experience with python i personally don't like python <laughs> i'm much more preferred with java and more strongly type languages so anyway so we'll just take the print function and the file is where the stream is input and we'll just use the system std error stream and we'll pass everything else the same way we received it okay just to be sure i'll just copy paste this i don't know i may make some spelling errors so these are our three functions on the python side that will help us communicate with node so to use them in our testing file what we can do is just import node that is the same as the file name that i created and if i do if underscore name equals uh, since we'll be using the main method later what we can do is give it a node dot log and we can just say shell started okay and we can do 
something like we received some data so we'll in the startup script we can do some basic so we'll do node.receive okay so we will get the data so what we will input is basically two numbers so we can just log what we received also so we received data so as it would be a python dictionary this is how we will show it so we'll just print the sum of the two numbers that we received okay so this is a basic test script on the python service side when the startup happens we can actually uh, do this dot process like send it an input which will be a data object so we can have a equals to 2 comma b equals 3 so if everything works right this should print 5 in the python shell so i'll just start the server npm start so once the server starts we'll see some logs then okay so as you can see since we are routing it to the error stream and the error stream is then again routed to the nest logger where we printed as verbose so as i said it would be blue in color so this is everything that's coming from the python shell and place dh capital yeah so as you can see we get the shell started log which we logged here using the node log function that just puts it on the error stream also the data as we send two and three the correct sum is being printed so our basic interface to send data and the utility functions from the python side are ready the next thing we need to do is like have functions that will uh, trap the outcoming data from python so back to the python service what we will have is basically an observable so let's just do it this way so public get response okay so this will be an observable of type any because the output is also coming on the standard output stream as it's a stream it should uh, you should generally try to convert streams to observable that just makes it very easy to operate on them so what we can do is return use the from event from rxjs and the event target is this dot shell the python shell and the event is message so message is the event on which all the output that you do using the standard print statement on the standard output stream will be received so if we create this observable and subscribe to this observable anywhere we want so like the service was being used in a gateway so in the constructor we can do uh, we can do this dot python we just need to save it we just actually close the shell okay so this dot python uh, dot response dot subscribe and we'll just give the data whatever is coming this dot logger dot log json dot stringify the data okay so all we need to do is now rather than doing this we'll just emit it okay since this will be emitted this five will actually be printed in the uh, using the app gateway logger if everything works correctly because errors can happen at any time and let's do npm start backend so if this works so our basic interface bit for exchanging data between node and python is ready if it works let's see so as you can see we have five being printed from the app gateway that means this observable is working and we can now subscribe to this observable and get a whole stream of output from the python processing so what we will do next is make the script kind of infinite so we'll create a while loop which will run infinitely and 
at the start of the every iteration it will take an input using node.receive we will do some out uh, processing and emit it using node.emit and we'll also add another utility function which will be node.ready which will basically uh, send like a notification to the node server that the shell is ready to receive more input and on the server side we will create a queue and we will keep on listening to whether we are getting the ready event or the output event and depending upon which event is coming we will still keep on sending more and more data to it so the explanation sounds a bit complicated but once we implement it this will be really easy to use and i guess that would be the last episode also for this series so if you are liking the series so far please do leave a like and if you have any suggestions leave them down below in the comments and to be stay updated on the channel just subscribe it and it really helps me thank you